Hi geeks in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia and beyond. Today it has been a pleasure. Uh, I'm with a guy whose work I saw all those years ago and uh, I could never have imagined that I would be spending time with him today. He is the co-creator of Whale Comics. He is the artist for Whale Comics and besides being that he is a well read very I have ever come across. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's like way too much. Uh... Yeah, yeah, Habibi, man, you deserve it. Uh, I introduce you to Yasser Ali Reda. Thank you. Whose uh, alter ego is Yas Bin Farnas. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, Yas, thank you very much for being here in Jeddah. For thank you. For giving me the time. For giving my followers the time. Thank you. Thank okay. You. and. pleasure. Now, I want to say one thing before Yas says a few words. This here is an example of a guy who didn't give up on his dreams. He started out just like you and me with uh, false expectations from parents and all that stuff. Okay. And then next thing you know, he ends up creating a comic on his own to the extent that this guy earned recognition from Mar today's Marvel editor-in-chief, C.B. Sibulski for his work that's no lie yeah no. thank you okay yes, and uh yes sir i would like you it would be a great honor for me that you share a few words for my followers please um jeez now you put me on the spot like that um first of all thanks i mean those are really big words i don't i'm not you know i'm not at that level where i imagine i deserve all this praise but you know um like anyone i think if you have a dream it's it sounds it sounds easier spoken than done you know said uh, either said than easier said than done but a part of you always has to be alive to do what you really want to do yani, and i believe you know we said this together previously in the car that uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts um, sort of this talent in every person yes and if you ignore that talent really what you're doing is you're ignoring a gift that god has given to you True. and you don't have to labor over the um, the way to materialize that talent you just need to work at that talent and God will find a way for that talent to you know to emerge and blossom in you so I hope anyone who watches this especially you know with the new kids I mean we like you were saying we grew up with certain expectations and standards and you know we had to we were forced to almost sometimes overlook our passions or our talents uh, for some sort of imagined greater good and I wanted, analog technology as well it's true true and I think what 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 one needs to consider no matter what your path in life is that you always have to look at what you really are passionate about and find a way to keep that alive until you can make it fully a part of your life Elena, you know and I think that's just something that comes off the top of my mind I hope that's useful <laughs> to, it to, is your, very useful. to your viewers and um, yani, I have to say when I came here I've been away from Jeddah for nearly 10 years and when I came here now I'm seeing sort of a blossoming of creativity all over town I'm seeing something that I never thought I'd see in my life with the with the young generation and inshallah you know they don't take it for granted number one don't take it for granted number two make the most of it um, and appreciate the struggles of those who came before you to bring you to this to this position where you can express yourself uh, I understand that there's still a long way to go but I, when I first came here, there were very few opportunities for people in Saudi Arabia, whether they were local or, or not, to kind of have a very clear creative outlet and build a career on, from their creative skills. And now that just doesn't seem to be far-fetched. And I hope everyone, you know, inshallah, you know, we see more of it. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Inshallah we will I can't thank you enough Thank you thank For you guys. giving us the time And uh, guys Thank you I mean You're like This guy is amazing by the way <laughs> Man <laughs> Habibi You are an inspiration for all of us yeah. And uh, You know It's like I cannot imagine Like I said I'm key, I keep on repeating it again and again That I, one day You know It was like back in 2012 When you started with Wayne 
Yeah, uh, no, not me, but Zed started in 2012, I began 2014. Okay, so it was like 2012, Zed had already introduced whale comics into the comic book world. Yeah. And I was like so flabbergasted that, man, there, there are some people in the Arab world who are taking this initiative. Yeah. And today, today, me, I am standing with one of the co-creators, the well, guy who is an artist. One thing I do want to say, I also want to give you props because I follow uh, Son of Jeddah very closely. And Thank I you. think you're one of the few individuals in this part of the world sort of trying to speak on behalf and help the geeks in this in Saudi Arabia come out of their shell. And you're really, really striving to, you know, to push uh, comics and the comic book culture and geek culture out there. I, it's a very, it's a lot harder than you guys think. I mean, I, I, you know, in, in the UAE, we've kind of built a momentum over there, but I think what you're doing in Jeddah and Saudi Arabia, by extension, is, is really remarkable. And, uh, uh, you know, I just, uh, anything we can do to help you, like, kind of do more, please do support Son of Jeddah. <laughs> God bless you, Yasser. God, God bless you for the kind words. Yeah. And really, these words of encouragement matter a lot to me. And as well as your story serves as an inspiration. You and Zaid's story Thanks. serves as an inspiration for all those uh, young Saudis, non-Saudis who are living in Saudi Arabia who want to make a career in this uh, field. They make the move. It will happen. It will happen. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed this live transmission. <laughs> Goodbye from us. Have a good night. <laughs>